Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. Uh, on tonight's video, I'm going to be talking about an authentic uh, mechanical tube mod, the Broadside. Uh, picked this up for about a uh, hundred pounds. Uh, so convert that to euros or dollars or whatever. Um, this is the brass edition of the Broadside. And uh, let me show you a closer look at this beast. And here's the tube that the Broadside comes in. Um, it's got the BGA box mods logo on the bottom and there's the hot wires logo on the top because uh, you get some wire with this But anyway, you open the tube up and inside you find this really nice uh, velvet Little bag that's got some silk stitching or something across it, but it says uh, broadside and Inside there we have our beautiful beautiful brass broadside Absolutely lovely right and also in this tube, but it's, they're awkward to get out, is you get an instruction manual, which basically uh, tells you how to use the mod, how to kind of upkeep on the mod, the correct batteries to try and that you should use, Samsung 25R, Sony VTC4, R5, and LG HG2. Uh, it also shows the suggested and correct way to for the battery drop um, in this mod. You know, some mods, it doesn't really matter. You can use them, whatever, but they recommend you use it with the positive side down. Uh, explain why uh, they recommend or suggest that when we get to looking at the button okay so so you get that you also get this little card and uh, authenticity certificate uh, which mine was dated on uh, the 15th of September there you can see and that's number 76 and my one is number 76 the the engraving at the bottom of this is absolutely beautiful as you can see very very kind of stylish you know, looks cool. So there we go, broadside, and I am number 76. Cool. Um, in it, you also get um, wire here that says two, three on it, you know, uh, worded two and number three. So I guess this is 23 gauge wire that they include in it, which is nice to get wire when you buy a mod. Okay, so let's actually look at the mod. So right top to bottom. Now I'm gonna show a photo on the screen of what the regular, um, broadside looks like and as I said mine is um, a little bit kind of cosmetically altered at the top here you can see it's not dead flat it's, it's a little kind of belled and uh, the reason for that is uh, I actually dropped it that's right I damaged it and this bit was charred up so I had to uh, wet sand and smooth it all out and as a result I'm left with a kind of a as a sort of bell top to it but I actually don't care you can see there that's a bit I couldn't get out um, because I actually like it it's kind of unique looking but anyway let's talk about this mod so you got start with the top cap so here we have this kind of uh, compass nordic nordical kind of design on the top here and underneath you have uh, a 510 pin this is not a hybrid mod uh, and this is a silver a silver plated um, pin so your RDA goes in here, and then you, uh, and this is reverse threaded, this pin, okay? And this is just for battery rattle, but basically you have uh, your voltage running through a uh, silver pin, uh, which is quite cool. So that's that section, and as you can see, nice beefy, beefy threads on this, and not a lot of threads. Um, could have done with clean them before the video, but hey, I didn't get around to it. Uh, this is the rest of the mod here. So if we unscrew the base, right, you'll see it's not magnets and it's not a spring. It's a plate system, right? Similar to the, uh, to the sub ohm innovation short mod or shorty as people like to call it. This is like a souped up version of it, this one. So, um, okay, so just if I remove this, so here's your other contact. They could do it a polish as well. So basically, your two contact points are silver, or silver plate. But there, it's you've got, it's uh, so this gives one hell of a charge. Basically, this is the this is the kind of the the secret to this mod's power, and you have this pushing down on top of the switch, making constant connection, and also hitting the side of the mod. The actual tube itself, look, is Delrin insulated. Okay, you see this Delrin at the bottom here. The all these holes are for venting. So if your battery is facing down this way, and if something terrible happened, um, you know, it would all vent down through the bottom. You know, basically you could even, if you did swing off the bottom button and just let it go. Uh, so the batteries in this go, yeah, face down that way. If my lighting isn't that bad, you might be able to see this black um, coating on the inside here. This is a Delrin sleeve and it goes all the way down. So this, um, it does help with actually keeping the mod cool. 
uh, if you're, you know, super sub ohming tight, you know, at low uh, bills and stuff like this. But it also is put in there for safety so that if you do have tears and tags and, you know, in your battery wraps and you put the battery in, it's not going to short out and make contact with the side of the mod because it's protected by the Delrin sleeve on the inside. That's pretty much it, right? Um, going over, it's a very easy um, uh, mod construction, if you will. So we'll just tighten this uh, pin back in. And again, you don't do it as hard as you can. You just put it in until it stops turning solid. And then we have, um, when this plate goes on, this plate system, you do actually get as well, you see th these are three plates, right? Three points of contact and they're held together by a red O-ring, all right, in the middle there. You get two spares uh, when you buy the broadside, but I um, don't know where I put them and uh, I don't want to spend half the morning looking for them either. I just want to get this video out. So. Yeah, if you bust the O-ring, the spares, but also a spare O-ring would do the trick too. So this sits in there, it just sits. And you see, when you would hit the button, it expands and it hits not just the silver below, but it hits the whole, all sides of the mod. So no matter where you hit it on the plate or on the button, um, all three points of contact are making contact, right? On the base then, the switch is just this other little piece of Delrin here to protect from heat which has the kind of nautical or broadside logo on it. And then you have uh, just the actual outer ring that contains the branding and also your serialized serial number. Serialized serial number. Your serial number. Uh, so nice, big, beefy threads on this too. I like big, thick threads on my mods, right? If you have thin threading and um, like it's really, really super thin, if you spin that too tight, sometimes it freezes. And then, you know, mods or RDAs, if it gets on there too tight, there's no way you're getting it off. It's just the, 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 the thin threads kind of fuse together and uh, screw it up. So, right. Um, so this would go in, battery down, and screw an RDA here onto the top cap. Battery height, adjust for battery height, which is just pushing it in, making sure it's making contact with my five, with my uh, positive pin of my RDA, it is, and then I'll just uh, screw it in. And uh, we're rocking, right. So let's go have a chat. And we're back after taking a close-up look at the uh, authentic brass uh, broadside mechanical tube mod. So I picked this one up from customvapes.co.uk, um, who were selling it in the silver and the brass. And also, uh, at the time, evolutionvape.co.uk were selling it, but I don't see it on their site um, tonight as uh, I'm doing this review and stuff. But looking over at the BJ, bjboxmods.com, it looks like they're coming out in three different versions. They got a uh, flame treated titanium one coming, polished titanium, and a black anodized aluminium version of it coming out soon. They look like they're going to be about 200 bucks. Uh, 220 it says here, so probably about you know, 180, 190 pounds UK, converted to euros, whatever. So this is a fantastic mod. It's not just the hardest hitting mod that I own. It's the hardest hitting mod that I've actually tried. And it's a combination of that button, the plate system that I showed you, you know, where the, the, the contacts spread out. There's no spring, there's no magnets. They just spread out, make a connection. You got that silver pin at the bottom, silver pin at the top. Not being a hybrid hitting this hard, it's just a, it's just fantastic. Um, and it also makes it, you know, a lot safer. So you can put like pretty much any of your RDAs on this and it'll, it'll hit. I put some pretty low bills on this. I'm not crazy with, you know, going low and low. The lowest I probably put on it was a 0 0.07. And yeah, the mod gets a little bit warm, but it doesn't get hot. The button never gets hot because it's got that Delrin cap uh, protecting the actual plates. Um, so yeah, the Delrin is just fantastic. You know, keeps it all cool. Absolutely fucking brilliant. That the Delrin on the inside also, I believe helps keep mods like this cool, you know, cause it retains the kind of heat on the inside. It's perfectly set up in case, you know, something goes wrong and it's going to vent. You can just spin this wheel off the bottom, you know, pop the bottom cap off. And there you go. They do actually sell on the site. They sell the replacement, uh, contact pins. They sell the replacement, uh, broadside bottom casing here but 
if you get the replacement one, it comes without a serial number. And they sell the replacement Delrin one. So it is pretty much set up that if it did go fucking nuts and it was venting and you just sp spun the bottom off, propped everything and just let it fucking go and got the you know battery out, you could replace those parts, but not the inside. And they don't have a replacement top cap. Um, I did bust mine, as I said, it fell, it took a smack. Um, and I did have to cosmetically alter it. Uh, just because I was trying to wet sand out all the marks that I got on it, etc. But broadside, an affordable, authentic, you know, just hard hitting mod, hard hitting, and it's put together fucking beautifully. You know, that's enough of me yakking about it. Thanks a lot for checking out the review. Uh, take care. Good luck. Bye bye now.